65 this morning. Speaking of beer, the Summer Beer Fest at the Fraser takes over Museum Row this Saturday. It is an annual fundraiser for the museum. They'll have live music, food, more than 200 beers from across the state. But our Sam Carter is talking about a, a non-alcoholic option. And this is one of my faves, Sam. Kombucha, yeah, kombucha, excuse me. I've just been told that I've been saying it wrong for years, more than a decade now. I got Corey here with me. Corey Wood is, you are the co-founder of Elixir Kombucha. Um, tell me about you guys before we do anything. Yeah, so Elixir uh, was started by myself and my wife, Danielle, uh, in 2015. Danielle's actually at home, pregnant right now. Nine, Nine months, months pregnant. four days. That's right. Hey, babe, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> uh, just waiting for a call or text. Uh, but yeah, we launched in 2015. We make a bubbly probiotic beverage called kombucha. Great for gut health. Also nice and delicious. Uh, got six flavors here. Um, you know, five rotating or f sorry, five year round flavors here. You're, that's the raspberry limeade, our uh, collaboration with Heine Brothers. There's no <laughs> sour aftertaste to it. I'm, yeah. I'm dead serious when yeah. I say this. I'm shocked by that. You guys are going to be at Beer Fest. That's You're right. one of the non-alcoholic options true, there. Yeah. Um, Beer Fest, you guys are going to be there. How are you guys going to be represented? Yeah, so we're, we're super stoked to be a part of Beer Fest. We find that beer festivals are really good um, places for us to be as that non-alcoholic option for people that are DDs or pregnant or if you just need to pace yourself in between beers, it's really nice to have something non-alcoholic and still, you know, fun and bubbly to have uh, Absolutely. in between beers. So. And it's refreshing. I, when I think of kombucha, gosh darn it. That's all right. You'll when I it. think of kombucha, I don't think of it being as light and bubbly as this, but it's really nice. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we're being told a lot that our, our kombucha is way more approachable than a lot of the other kombuchas out there. So I appreciate you saying so. Now, guys, also joining us right now, I'd be remiss if I didn't introduce him. This is Simon Miners. He's with the Fraser. Simon, you guys... Two for Tuesday, have a special deal going on on tickets for this event. Right? That's right. Today only, it's two for Tuesday. You get two general admission tickets for the price of one. You can get beers just like this, watermelon, chicken, and grits from Nappy Roots. Corey mentioned DDs, also a great idea. You can get a DD ticket for $10. You can have access to these non-alcoholic drinks like kombucha. Absolutely. I got two more to get through before the end, guys. Again, that website where you can get tickets should be on your screen right now. Elixir, you could do... This is really good. This is good stuff. I might, I might have to pick some of this up myself. We'll be back at around 645 with a ton more coming up. Cheers. Elixir is so good. It really is. We're lucky to have it here. And they sell it a lot of different places, so you can grab it. Uh, grab some for yourself. It is a great non-alcoholic option at a yeah. beer fest, too, Matt. I think it's going to be a great time. For